Hey everyone, Christina Poncher coming to you from Denver, Colorado, and it is day one of Alvarado Provodnikov Fight Week. It's Mike's Media Day Workout. Uh, first and foremost, how good does this feel to not have to travel and have everybody come to you for once? <laughs> it feels good. This is my gym. This is my, my stomping grounds. So it's a good feeling. You know, I could just go home right after this and feel at home. So it's good. It's a great feeling. And this training camp, you did have your entire training camp here. Uh, the last couple, you've gone to L.A. for a little bit and then came back. But this time, you're here 100% of the time. How much more comfortable does that make you to be here and not have to worry about traveling or uh do you like it better going there where it's, you're a little bit more isolated? Um, at first, I like to go get my mindset right first. Sometimes I'll go get out, get mindset for training, and then I'll come home and adapt. I love training out here. I mean, it's a good feeling training around my family and getting that extra support. And you've had Rudy Hernandez here back in your camp again, and he was a vital part in your corner in your last fight against Brandon Rios, and he's back again. How much of an impact does he make on you and the team? He makes a huge impact. I mean, he's, he was like our our missing puzzle, you know, missing puzzle piece. And he now that you know our, we got it all together and we're implementing all the, all what we need. I mean, his experience just helps out that much more. So I mean, he's had a huge impact on our camp. Something that I saw that was a huge improvement that everybody noticed was uh, you sticking to your game plan in that last fight and you boxing more and showing more of your defense to avoid uh, getting hit and to avoid getting into a brawl with Brandon Rios, which eventually led to you winning the fight because you did box. How much of that boxing and that movement and that defense do you feel you're going to need in this fight against Ruslan Provodnikov, who is undoubtedly coming forward and going to try to get you to brawl? I'm going to have to stay strong on that. I'm going to have to stay focused on my boxing game, stay away from all his shots, fight the way I need to fight to win this. We had a good preparation for it. So, I mean, you know, that being said, Rudy, bringing Rudy in, it was the, was the key, you know. And I've, I was able to box this whole time. I just was I just didn't learn how to implement it into the ring. Are you going to be able to keep your discipline and stick to the game plan and box, even though when you brawl and when you engage, you know the crowd's going to go crazy. But are you able to just kind of tune that out and focus on what you need to do? And regardless, it, you'll put on a good show. But you know what I mean as far as tuning out the crowd and, and not engaging to put on a show, but do what you need to do to win the fight. Definitely. I mean, I know that energy is just going to be crazy. So, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to feed off that and, and let it add to my focus you know and keep that energy in my focus to win this fight so i mean it's just it's going to be a great feeling i mean just knowing that but my focus my mental is just so strong that i, I won't go out of my element to to you know put myself in any kind of situation i don't want to be in so i'll be ready regardless i mean before the fight the last fight with brandon rios he said mike can say mike's gonna box all he wants but once we get in the ring He's going to brawl. He's going to fight the one way he knows how. And you proved him wrong. And and now Provodnikov is saying that same thing. He's going to say he's going to box, but Tim Bradley was a boxer, and I got him out of his style. So he's kind of saying the same thing, but you're going to step into the ring and try to prove him wrong again, right? Yeah, every fight's different, right. you know? Um, well, Bradley, he went in there fighting the wrong fight, you know, and that's what happened. He got thrown into a fight he didn't want to be in. So, you know, he knows if he could go back, he'd, do he'd change, he'd do it over. Yeah, I think he so, made the decision the night before that fight. His <laughs> mistakes. I learned off watching him and his experience that he went through in, in the same with the same fighter. He has the same style. He ain't going to be able to adjust from it. You know, he has a great trainer. Fay Roach is the, the best trainer, one of the best trainers. So, I mean, he, he's going to have a, a – he's going to try to implement all his training skills in there, but – I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna box my ass off, like I said. All right, right. He's gonna box his beep <laughs> off. We're looking. Uh, oh, I can't say. Hey, we're no, you can say. It's, this is the internet. You can say whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of anticipation building for what could be a fight of the year candidate when Mike Alvarado and Ruslan Provodnikov step into the ring at the First Bank Center in Denver this Saturday. Boxing fans and media alike cannot wait for this fight, and you can join us on. HBO World Championship Boxing if you can't make it down to Denver. Here's a schedule for the rest of the week. Thursday we'll bring you the press conference. Friday, as always, we'll be streaming the weigh-ins for you and then fight night goes down on Saturday. Keep it right here on TopRank.com. We'll bring you all the latest all fight week long. I'm Christina Poncher.